In today's video, we will cover how to set the coordinate system in both SOLIDWORKS CAM and CAMWORKS. So we have the part open inside of SOLIDWORKS, and you'll see that we're in the SOLIDWORKS CAM feature tree. This is going to be the same process as you would use if you were inside of CAMWORKS as well. So we're going to start in the feature tree, and you can see that we've got the mill machine, and we've got our stock set up for this part. So these two have already been set. And what we're going to do is we're going to set the coordinate system. So you'll notice that there's a small exclamation mark beside the coordinate system in a yellow triangle, and it says not defined in brackets beside the coordinate system. So anytime you see that, that means obviously the coordinate system has not been set up yet. So we're going to go ahead and set that up. So there's a couple different ways that we can do this. The first one would be the button in the SOLIDWORKS CAM tab in the command manager. And the second option would be to either double click on the coordinate system in the tree, in the feature tree, or to right click on the coordinate system and choose edit definition. These options will bring up your fixture coordinate system window. So once we've got this open, we've got two different methods in order to create the coordinate system. The first one you can see by default is user defined. And the second option would be a SOLIDWORKS coordinate system. So if we're in the user defined window, you'll also notice that there is an option to create a SOLIDWORKS coordinate system from this window directly. So if we click on that button, this will actually allow us to create a coordinate system inside of SOLIDWORKS. So you can see the name is fix your coordinate system, or we can rename that. We can also assign this as the coordinate system directly from this window as well. So if I choose OK, we can see that we've created this fixture coordinate system as a SOLIDWORKS coordinate system. Now what this is going to do is it's going to place it directly on the origin in SOLIDWORKS. So you can see that my X axis is not in the correct direction, neither is the Y or the Z. So what we can do is we can choose OK and then go back into SOLIDWORKS and edit that coordinate system. So if I choose OK by clicking on the green check mark, I can go back into the feature manager design tree, scroll to the bottom and you'll see there's my fixture coordinate system. So I can go ahead and edit that and then change it. That's one option. Another option would be to create a coordinate system using the user defined method. I'm going to choose edit coordinate system and we're going to change this to our user defined method. So again, instead of using the fixture coordinate system, so I'm going to delete that from my entity selection. This time I can go ahead and choose anything on the screen where I want to place this. So if I wanted it in the center of a, an arc, so I could choose even a radius on this part. So if I choose the radius here, it's basically going to place that coordinate system in the center point. If I, again, you go back into the, the window here and delete your selection, if I choose the center of this circle, again, it's placing it in the center of that circle. Now, you can also see that the plane is on in the direct center of that particular circle. So if I wanted it on this plane, then I would need to choose this circle instead. If I delete that, we can also place this on a vertex. So if I was to choose the point, so a vertex, you can actually place it in the corner of any of these points. So that's the entity selection. So basically just choosing an entity on the screen and that's going to create that selection for us. The next option in here would be the part bounding box. So you'll notice that we've got the bounding box of the part. So it's basically created a bounding box around the outside of the part and it allows us to choose these different nodes. So we're basically choosing a corner or a center point of one of these sides. You can kind of see that we've got the center point of this side here. So we could click on that and it's basically going to create that as our coordinate system. So again, we're locating that position of the coordinate system. The second option in here would be the stock bounding box. So you can kind of see that that's going to change based on what we set up as the stock. So this one, we can again create the coordinate system on a point of that stock material. So if I want it in this top left hand corner, this is the location of where I'm choosing to put this. But again, we still have the X, Y and Z all in the wrong directions. So if I'm looking to create my Z direction again, my Z direction always needs to be in the direction that 
the tool is coming from. So it's basically going to be pointing up in, in the direction that this X axis is coming in. And again, make sure that it's positive. So we need to make sure that it's pointing up. So if I want to place the Z direction in the direction that my tools are coming from, I'm going to click in the box for the Z direction. And then I'm either going to click on a perpendicular face or an edge that's pointing in the same direction. So if I was to click on a perpendicular face, I could click on this top face here. And you can see that that Z direction is now pointing in the direction that my tools are coming from. So if this is a positive direction. Now my X direction is not correct. So again, I can use the same process. I can click in the X box here. And then if I want my X direction to go in the opposite direction that it's going right now, I can either click on this perpendicular face or I can choose an edge that the X direction is running along. So in this case, I'll choose an edge. So I'll choose that edge here. And you can see that it's still facing in the wrong direction. So there's an option to flip that direction using the arrow buttons here. So now you can see that this is flipped to my X direction and the Y direction automatically has to go in the correct direction because you only need to make two selections here in order to place this in the right spot. So again, I chose my stock bounding box vertex, so a vertex on my stock. And then I chose the Z direction and then my X direction and flipped the arrow. So now that I've got this placed in the correct position on my part, I can go ahead and choose the OK button. And we can see now my coordinate system has been set and you can see in bracket, it says user defined. So this is what I chose as my coordinate system, a user defined location on the part. Thanks for watching.